hello welcome in the part two and like i said in the part one we will start with this ficus tree and this one really needs pruning and i will do uh, the top of the tree first and then we will go down and i want to shorten this this tree as much as i can so i can fit the trees because i don't have that much space and uh, they will grow anyway during the winter but I want them as tight as I can so like I have to fit I don't know maybe 500 ficus trees somewhere I don't know where this this year I, I like my collection is getting bigger and bigger and bigger these branches too thick kind of for the top of the tree so I have here this this extension and then I have this small branch so I will just leave that small branch here I will take the leaf off and I will just cut this thicker part off here this is quite thick branch and I have like Two branches facing downwards so I will leave that two branches facing downwards and I will cut this one facing upwards here I have one secondary branch I have a leaf facing downwards so I have here a branch double branch here so I will just keep one and I will return to that branch first let's finish the rest here I think these two branches here I will shorten even more and this branch I will cut completely off so I have some space here I have this branch here and that's kind of like inside of the curve if you can see that that's this branch here this branch is kind of inside of the curve because the tree is like zigzag zigzag and I think this branch is like on the good position and this one it's not I have here a back branch and I think it it would be good to cut this branch completely off or I can just like shorten it a lot and see where how that will look like and if that will be like bad then I can take it off and this branch is kind of still too strong so I have this thick part that I will take off and now if this is my top of the tree then this is crazy thick but this was my top of the tree and this was just a branch so if this will be the branch again then I have to shorten it like really a lot depends do I want this to be my top of the tree or should I go with this zigzag and this will be my top of the tree and if this is the top of my tree then I have to take a lot more off and this will be my branch so so I can shorten that really really a lot so I have like small tiny branch new branch and this that go upwards I can take totally off and I think this is still too big so I will make all my new branches from here so this will be better and this is still too big to me so I will shorten this one even a bit more and I still think it's too big and I think this this part is too straight if you look this is just like a straight line 
and it's not attractive at all so I think I, I could like take whole top of the tree like this and this will look much better at least in time this will look much better so I can shorten this a bit more and this have to go down a bit and now this is too thick this branch is too thick for the top of the tree I could like replace it with this smaller so now it's good that I didn't take this one off straight away so it would be maybe good to cut this thick off branch and leave this one but then I have barb branches with this one so but I still don't know do I want to cut this one off because here I have like really a lot that nothing is going on I don't have any branches here so first of all I will shorten this this branch here I have some leaves growing downwards and this upper this part growing upwards I will take off this one I can use maybe and this leaf is too big so this is still too big and I will shorten this my first branch and I'm still trying to grow out this first branch and everything is growing to the uh, top of the tree so this my first branch is still not that good as I would like to be so let me see now no this is my first branch so this is my secondary branch let's check this one and then we will see overall here I have one really uh, strong branch growing upwards so I will take it short I don't like much this first branch it's not it's, it's not that good I have to work on this first branch much more it doesn't look that good it just doesn't have any good potential I will shorten this one here one branch facing upwards I will take that one off I have to shorten this back branch I have this branch here one branch is growing down kind of like more like kind of inwards and then one is growing upwards and I don't like I don't like either of these two so I can do something like this and then I can shorten this really short and I can see like if something will pop out this on this direction so I will shorten this a bit more and now let's go to the back branch this back branch looks really strong and I have to take this back, back branch like really short so I will do I will lose some ramification here because you can see I don't have anything here and then on the top of this long branch I have like some ramification but that that doesn't just doesn't look good so I will wait for the better branches and this is too strong so do I have something facing downwards I have here like two branches I can take this off I can shorten this I can take these leaves growing upwards 
I have one leaf growing downwards here. Okay. And this branch is too strong. I have a leaf downwards facing. So let's see what we have. I think I can take safely this off. This is too strong. I can leave this branch, take this leaf off. I don't need them. And if I put a tiny piece of wire here, everything will look much better. So now we are getting somewhere. But this first branch is still doesn't look good. So I think. I have to push this everything more inwards and give this branch a bit more like uh, space to grow. Now this looks really flimsy and like long but I want this to grow. Uh -huh. I really don't like this. So I will leave this one to grow and I will leave this one to grow but this, this is still too big. So I will cut this one a bit more than this is also too long. I will cut this one a bit more. I will take this one off. Here I have some stuff. And this one is that. So what do you think guys? Leave the smaller branch facing downwards it's quite close to the top or leave this thicker branch if I leave this thinner branch then this branch is much thinner than the rest of the branches if this branch it fits more like with the thickness of the rest of the of the tree if you understand me it's still thinner than this one it's a bit thicker than this one and this one so it fits like with the where it is how thick it is so sorry but you're gone no more talking about that one i think this is it with with this branch palm tree is growing i'm done with this ficus tree this is all what I took from this tree. It was a bit overgrown for a small Shohin tree. It needs like a lot of more growing. It needs to thicken up these two bottom branches, but I don't know. I always have some branches on the trees that are not fitting my goal, but it will, they, will, they will get there. So I just need to thicken up these two and maybe I need some branch here, like here. If I do a small scar, maybe something will grow. If I get some branch here to fill up the this back part, it will look really good. And I have to keep this one in check so it doesn't grow too wild. So this is it, so let's go to the next tree so the next tree is this uh, ginseng ficus tree root of a rock and this one really grow this year really nice I did report this tree it's uh, in a, a bit shallower than it was before but it's much thicker than it was uh, on the beginning of the season and uh, now it needs pruning like the top of the tree is growing wild so again I will try to cut the tree really low like the all others so I should start first with the top of the tree and the top 
abu prune heart I know it, even if I cut something like really really short and I don't have anything else growing there I will get something so that's okay and because this tree is like really epic dominant tree so everything goes to the top of the tree and I think the top of the tree is like too crowded here I will show I will cut this one off totally I will show you I have like some really small branches like this one you see this is Green Island I could use this one is growing like really nice this branch this new branch I could like cut everything off up to this branch and like this and use that outward facing growth the green island grows a bit different than uh, tiger bark or uh, classic microcarpa so you, like when you have some kind of ficus tree in time you will see that each of them grows a bit different and have like bit different like growing habits now we'll try to to cut as much as i can on the top of the tree and if I can take some of the old branches like this in favor of these small ones I will do that so the green island have like much much more roots than than uh, tiger bark so they grow more roots thicker roots they're really good for uh, root over rock composition but when they get shaded the branches they will die very fast the uh, tiger, tiger bark you will get shaded branches but they will still keep on living but this one is like dying a bit faster that that is just my maybe somebody have like different opinion but that's what I seen on my trees so that's why I would like to cut them a bit more like down here I lost the branch here I got the new one but it's growing inwards so but I got one more that growing outwards so I will cut up to that outward facing uh, new branch So I'm done with this tree, I think. I will just cut this shorter here. I think this is like too strong for the top of the tree. This is too strong and I think this is too strong but I don't have anything growing there.
so I will wait if something grows here then I will shorten it even more and I will shorten this bit more and I'm done so I will do a spin so this is the front of the tree I think both sides looks good this is the this is the back side and this is the front side like this so I will spin the tree back side and back to the front so this is it for part two I hope you like it and uh, see you next time guys bye bye